Yo, what it do? It's the King. Three stats to the max. It's grind time. Supernova shine. Get your bank up. Get your rank up. Baby, see, I was trying to be good. And I was thinking about not talking shit about nobody. But, you know, they had a valor fair or whatever. So, you know. And they thought it would be a good idea to pull up a comment from a bitch ass person that was blocked off my channel they thought it would be cool to pull it up because he talked about iron ken so you know bunch of hoes over there but see here's the thing bobby said my channel don't get no views unless i'm talking about him but he forgetting that he wouldn't be shit today without hanging on the coattail of gi joe so what are you talking about ken Let's just talk about it, you know, cause see these motherfuckers forget and they 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 get their little loyal fan base, they build their little coat and they forget how they were struggling when they first came up. So let's just talk about it. Where the fuck did Bobby first start off and really advertising his shit to the public for people can see it? At the Joe Fest. Now you you supposed to be battling against the Joes against Hasbro and your fan base say you're better than G.I. Joe and you're supposed to be against G.I. Joe and Hasbro but you're displaying your product at a Joe Fest I wish Hasbro would display their stuff at the Joe Fest not that I like them or anything it's just to shit all over you because you know you hanging on to G.I. Joe coattail you know so um and let's not get it twisted. Ken probably the one who helped this shit jump off the ground because before any you hooked up with any of your dick suckers, you know, anybody who was trying to put some Valiverse out there before the product came out, you know, Ken was the one who put a lot of people onto that shit. So, you know, I had Valiverse content when he first came out before he was a dick and the figures was breaking. You know, so um, they used to all be fans. You know, I got this Instagram comment post DM that he sent me that he was thanking me for speaking about his line. See, they all fans until you they find out that you don't that you don't ride dick, that you don't kiss ass, that you don't serve nobody. So then they get to the changing on you. So, but anyway, Ken had Valiverse content. You know probably like 30,000 views on Valiverse videos. I took the shits down now because I'm not advertising the punk ass ex-employee shit. So, you know, let's just say 30,000 people watch those videos. Then through word of mouth, that could turn to 100,000, a million folks. You know what I'm saying? So, Ken kind of helped that shit got rolling. So, I feel like the chump owed me some change because he forgot when he first was coming up. Nobody wasn't talking about that shit. Nobody didn't know about Valiverse. So, you know, for him to say people only come to my channel is when I'm talking about him. Man, don't don't even flatter yourself like that because I don't talk about your punk ass. Ken just put people onto Valiverse and... You know, people got faulty products because I told them about the merchandise. So, therefore, Ken goes back and try to correct his mistake because that's the type of person I am, whether people think I'm an asshole or whatever. But, see, they don't know that people bring the asshole out of Ken by fucking with Ken because Ken don't be looking for none of these chumps like bitch-ass ninja. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't checking for dude. He just DM me on Instagram. Come looking for me. Make it trouble for me. I wasn't looking for nobody. You know what I'm saying? Ken don't need nobody to build himself up because I build my shit up all by myself. And you can say that I got a little channel or whatever, but it's only been like four years for me. And I refuse to kiss ass, suck dick or any of that for my channel to grow. My channel could been grow. You know what I'm saying? But... I just can't hold my tongue from saying the truth. And the truth hurts a lot of people because at the end of the day, a lot of people got fucked up lies and all they want to do is come and hit some fake good shit so they could be in a happy little toy world. But now nah, this ain't the place for that. 
If it's some good shit, I'll talk about some good shit. But if it's some real need to be said, I got to address it. And, you know, everybody not afraid of the real. But a lot of these dudes are afraid of the truth. So they get mad about the truth. They get mad when you talk about hash, bro. They get mad when you talk about Valiverse. And I don't know why, because it ain't like they doing shit for them, but taking their money. So, you know, to say that people only comes when I talk about him. See, he's so full of himself. You know, we ain't got to go back and forth on no video. You know, we can meet face to face, man to man, hash it out, whatever. You know, so it ain't got to be no back and forth or no talking shit on no video. You could talk shit right to Ken face if you want to. So just just let me know and we can arrange that so but anyway Valiverse wouldn't be shit if it weren't for G.I. Joe and matter of fact you hyped about going to the Joe Fest to show off your Valiverse so you know and it, it, it technically you use a G.I. Joe name to help your shit grow because people are coming to the Joe Fest to see stuff about G.I. Joe to buy G.I. Joe. You know what I'm saying? It's not the Valiverse Fest. You know? It's the Joe Fest. So, you know, and like you hang on to their coattail to get your little shit jumping. You know? You come back every year. You come back every year to a place where you 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 talk your shit about a person that lives in that place. Where they whole family stay at. Where they whole family stay at. Where all their friends stay at. That's not a smart move, man. That's that's just not a smart move. So, you know, um, I, I'm really want to see some of them uh, ninja moves by Bitch Ninja if he come down now. I want to really see if he can animate one of those ass whoopings like he did in his video when he was talking shit about me. I wonder, can he do that shit man to man? So, I'm just saying. So, um, yeah, Ken ain't never have to stand on nobody's name. I always did my own shit. Tell the truth whether people like it or not. So, you know, anyway, you guys let me know what you think. Is it a smart move to be talking shit? about somebody and you're gonna be down here where they whole family stay at where they whole family stay at you know do you think if it wasn't for gi joe do you think ex-employee would have had any type of success you know because let's think about it he holding on to the coattail of gi joe you at gi joe fest showing off your valiverse bullshit so just let that marinate, you know. The smart people get it, but I, I bet it'll be some people who try to defend the shit, you know, because if it weren't for G.I. Joe and a G.I. Joe fest, there wouldn't have been no place for Valiverse to go through because nobody wasn't really fucking with it on the internet like that, you know what I'm saying? Until the shit got some figures in and shit like that. But before then, nobody didn't know, you know, so King helped that shit get off the ground. You know, but anyway, you guys leave a like in the comment. I'm going to be out in peace.